guys. I tried to do a live stream, but it didn't work, so I figured I would just do a video. Um, this is my last hamburger. Um, got it from Fuddruckers. A family member went to bring me something to eat. And as they were ordering, there was a message on the TV and everywhere else um, that all the restaurants needed to be closed. Um, and not essential stores. So, pretty much this was the last hamburger that um, I'll be having, unless I make one homemade. Um, so I'll be eating more at home, which is okay. Um, the thing is that some people rely on food from restaurants and things like that because they can't cook physically, you know, like me, if I was by myself, you know, I would rely on Uber Eats and Postmates and things like that, um, because me actually working around a stove would be very dangerous with my vision and hand-eye coordination, um, and balance, I've tried. Um, so I'm a little worried about that. Now where I am at, um, is a very large city, but I'm on not the best side of town. Um, it's not the worst by any means, but, um, we do have programs here for school children, um, because of everything, uh, they can go get lunch, free of course, because the majority of kids in this area do rely on those type of services, um, to get free breakfast and lunch. Um, this area used to have even a dinner program, um, for some children. And they didn't even have to show, um, they went to that school, it was just a program that, um, was put on just because there was such a need. They will be getting, uh, breakfast and lunch, um, but of course they have to go get it, so, um, parents have to drive them, or even walk them to the school, um, if they need that. Um, the stores right now are still pretty chaotic. Oh, it's a cheeseburger. Okay, well, that's fine. The stores are pretty chaotic right now. Um, first we had it where everybody just grabbed things. And then... The local stores started doing the uh, one in one out policy, which is basically everybody gets in a single file line and one person goes in, one person comes out, and then the next person. And while they're shopping, everything's being cleaned that they touch. There's also delivery services, which the fees were waived. Um, but because so many people were utilizing it, like I utilized it, but I didn't get nearly half the groceries because almost everything was out of stock by the time that, um, my delivery, uh, came to be. So even though like I ordered, you know, let's say a hundred dollars worth of groceries, I maybe got like 40% of uh, what I wanted to get. Um, 
which is okay. Um, some of my family is panicking. I'm trying not to, but, um, like my grandparents are, are panicking because they remember things like rationing in the Philippines or rationing um, during World War II, things like that. So it's, it's a very scary time for them. I'm trying not to think it would get that bad, but again, I don't know. Um, my biggest thing about the virus that scares me is not getting the virus, actually. Because I'm relatively inside most of the time. Um, so that's fine. However, what I'm worried about is the fact that I'm very susceptible to anything. So, let's say I wake up and I have the flu. That flu could wipe me out. That cold could wipe me out. Um, anything like that. And so, I'm not able to have access to medical, you know, I can't go to the hospital because it's full of people who, you know, who are using those resources. Um, you know, if I need to be admitted, what if there's not enough beds? What if there's not enough um, oxygen or respirators or ventilators or things like that? Um, because of the condition I have, one, just being a little person, two, the type of dwarfism I have, um, RCDP, um, it has a lot of issues, uh, I'm not going to go through all of them, uh, and having cerebral palsy on top of that, uh, there's just a lot of diagnoses I have, I won't go through all of them, but that on top of the fact that my lungs are very susceptible because I have the rod, um, that even though it helps make room for my lungs because before they were being crushed before my major surgery um if they needed to actually do some sort of operation or um if i would be on a machine it would be very dangerous because those machines are meant to open lungs fully and with that hardware my lungs can't Um, if I were to fall and break one of the brackets, I'd have to be airlifted to New York. And they're going through their own emergency systems there. So, that's what I'm afraid of mostly. Um, but also, you know, the food thing does worry me only because... People are panic buying. People are buying guns. People are freaking out. And people can be very unpredictable when they're afraid. Um, I don't really have the need to sort of defend myself because I know that I'm just an easy target, period. I can't run. Um, I used to be able to hide really well, but since I can't crouch down anymore, um, I can't do that. Um, I can't really scream. I, I mean, it's, it's, you know, God forbid I ever have to do those things, but it's, I don't know. I just worry about people's reaction to things. Let's go time, brother. Even though it has cheese. Um. So. 
you know, that's, those are my thoughts on the virus, really. Um, the one, I don't want to say bright spot, but the one thing that I have to say is I'm kind of always social distancing because I spend a lot of time at home alone or with just one other person or, you know, it's, it's very lonely. Um, so having everybody inside and kind of feeling that, um, it's nice not to be alone, but it's also nice to have people understand, um, that sometimes you just, you need to talk to someone or you need to reach out to someone. That's what my YouTube channel kind of is. Sometimes it can be just utterly lonely. And people don't understand. Um, so. I hope everyone just learns kindness through all this. If you can help someone right now with food or child care or um, just talking to them or just being a friend, do it. Um, also, you know, the thing is that, I mean, I've been on a fixed budget um, before and the thing is I've experienced, you know, Cutting down on certain foods and rationing things. I'm not to an extreme level, but, you know, every time I have a piece of fruit or every time I have something, especially a fresh item, um, sometimes I, I think to myself, you know, is this the last time I'm going to see an apple for nine months, ten months? Am I, you know, I worry about those things. Um, I'm kind of trying not to eat as much just because I don't know what the food situation will be like in a week, in two weeks, in three weeks, in three months. Um, like I said, we have more than enough, but if people buy and buy and buy and panic buy, it's, it's worrisome. Now, my city has also done the elderly and disabled um, shopping. Now they have a course at 8 a.m. Me, if I were to go to something like that, I'd have to get up at 5 um, to be able to use to utilize the um, bus service that comes and helps people with disabilities. Um, to get me to the grocery store even though it's not that far um, and then you can only use you can only um, buy what you can carry so you know if I bought a 12 pack of soda that's it I, I couldn't carry anything more on on the bus because they don't allow you to you know bring a whole stack of groceries or a grocery cart or anything like that um it's only what you can carry or what you can have under your seat um and since i wouldn't be ambulatory um i don't have a compartment under my seat so it would be only what i could carry my lap is not even big enough to hold a piece of paper so yeah it would be difficult um but i do have family thank goodness that you know has helped and things like that um i do not live alone um 
but like I said, it, it is very worrisome because also the members of my family um, also have health issues of their own. And like I said, I, I worry about them too. Um, some places they still have to go to work. Um, like my family, even though um, some some of the um, co-workers aren't coming in because of their specialized jobs, they have to come in. Um, so like I said, it's putting them at risk as well. Um, like I said, but those are my thoughts on, on the virus, on people's responses to the virus. Um, like I said, I trying to enjoy this hamburger but it's kind of hard to enjoy anything thinking about things and I haven't been sleeping lately because I just <sighs> too many thoughts go in my head at night but it'll be interesting and hopefully we can all get through this safely um, I don't lose too many people but like I said the big takeaway is be kind to one another. If you can help someone, help someone. Um, and that's it. So I will talk to you guys later.